Good evening, Tony. Hi, good evening, teacher. You know, my God, okay. So, is it raining right there? Yes, it's raining right now here, but slowly. Okay, all right. It's not that much, right? Exactly. Perfect. And how about your day? How was it? Uh, very, very, very busy. Uh, I have a meeting like start at 8.30 a.m. and mm -hmm. finish at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. It was so extensive. Um, but uh, it's very well that because uh, we have um, uh, to present the results or um, yeah, the result of the sale of the uh, last month and we have uh, uh, some issues and we need to find them, identify and then make plans to correct and this is so very hard but this mm -hmm. entertainment. <laughs> okay, well the good thing is that you see it as entertaining right so exactly that's the attitude okay yeah. perfect. excellent all right tony uh, let's see we also have marius we have maira i know that emerson is going to be as a listener today and maris are you there maira are you there yes yes teacher how are you maris how do you i'm fine and you i'm okay much better than yesterday because yesterday i actually i had a sore throat but now i feel better yes yeah. And what about you, Mayra? Are you there? I think that she's there, but but mm. but we cannot hear you, Mayra. Yeah, maybe the, the connection, right? Uh we also have Atilio, he is connecting. We have um Vladimir. Yeah. Okay. Let's start, okay? So we're going to start with today's class and today we are going to um, start with the following. Today's agenda, we have the warm up. We are going to move them to unit two, which is marketing. We are going to talk about marketing today. And we also have um, the grammar part, which is going to be using enough, all right? So today we are going to learn how to use this type of you know, those are called intensifiers, okay? So we are going to cover enough and also two. We have teamwork as well, and we also have the speaking time, yeah? Uh, yes, Mayra, I know. Okay, thank you. All right, so we are going to start with the warm up, and we are going to, um, we are going to play Jeopardy, yes? I don't know if we have played this before with you, but I think that yes, maybe yes. I'm not sure, okay? But what we're going to do, I'm pretty sure that most of you cannot probably participate because you are on your way home or you are driving, right? So we're going to participate. Um, Let me see. Yeah, the ones that are here and that can participate, let's do it, okay? So let's see. I know that Tony is here, Maris as well. Also, Carlos Omar. Okay, I see Carlos Omar, and then uh, I'm not sure okay, if Atilio, Vladimir, well, Mayra is on her way home. Emerson is as a listener. Okay, so we're going to play Tony, Carlos Omar, and Maurice, okay? We three. So we're going to play, and you will see. But first, I need you to choose your vegetable or fruit. What uh, it's hilarious. Uh... Happy? Happy. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm Mr. Lemon. Mr. Lemon. We also have fruits and animals. Okay, Mr. Lemon is good. Okay, Mr. Lemon. Tony, Morris? Yeah. Which fruit or vegetable do you want to be? Uh... Watermelon. Watermelon. And Carlos, what about you? Choose Onion. one. Onion. Okay. All right. So we're going to start the game. We have different questions and you can make virtual money. All right. Yes. Okay. So what you need to do is the following. We are going to start first onion, then watermelon, and then lemon. Okay. 
So you are going to tell me, teacher, I want to make $100 vocabulary. Okay. Or teacher, I want to make $500 marketing. And those are the four categories that we have. All of those questions are things that you know. Some of them are going to be kind of difficult because uh, um, maybe those are advanced, but I'm pretty sure that you have an idea, okay? All right, so let's start. A onion, okay? We are going to start with Carlos, yes? How much money would you like to make? $100. Which category? Um, marketing. Okay, $100. For $100, mention the three marketing um, tips. Three marketing tips. Um, I don't remember. Invent. A low price. Okay, uh, low price. To, to the the best place to sell. Choose the best place to sell, okay. Uh, find find the best strategies for for sell a product. Okay. For, for All right. a, a promotion. Okay, promotions. Okay, excellent. Yes, give things away, right? A update content and be helpful. Okay, so you got one hundred dollars. Okay, your answer was good. What a melon! How much money would you like to make tonight? Um, um Maria, two hundred dollars. All right, very two hundred dollars. Marius, that means what a melon for two hundred dollars. Choose the correct. Option, my brother's birthday is a space, March, A, B, C, or D? B. Letter B? Letter B. Are you sure? Let's see. Uh... For $200, Maury. If no, you are yeah. going to owe me that money. Uh, three, two. One. Yes. <laughs> okay. A, Mari? A, <laughs> okay. Letter A, B, C, or D, Maris? D. D? C. C. At. At. At March. Okay. Maris? For yeah. $200, Maris, my brother's birthday is in uh, March. Oh. Okay. Maris, you owe me two hundred dollars. <laughs> right. So let's see. Tony, let's okay. see. Your turn. I How need five hundred dollars in vocabulary. Okay. For one hundred dollars, choose a synonym. Oh, sorry. Five hundred. Oh, okay. Let's I need move. more money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, vocabulary. Yes. Okay. Five hundred. Okay. I only want little sugar in my tea. Please. A, ah. B, C. Letter. Oh my gosh. Maybe such. I want such little sugar in my tea. I want a little sugar. Oh, I want one liter. Five, four, three. Tony. Letter A. Okay, I want a little sugar in my tea. That is correct, okay? So $500 for Tony, lemon, okay? Very good. Onion, Carlos, how much money would you like to make? Uh, $3,000 for... I got 3,000? We don't have 3,000, Carlos. We have 300. 300. Yes, yes, for various. Oh, various, okay, $300, three, 300, okay. For $300, Carlos, 
the question is, if something rings a bell, it, letter A, makes a lot of noise. Letter B, is frightening. And letter C, sounds familiar. Rings a bell. What uh, does it mean? Letter C. Sounds familiar. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Very good. You get $300, so you have $400 now. Perfect. Maris, it's your time. No, what a yeah. melon. How much money would you like to make? $300 marketing. Marketing. Perfect. For $300, Maris, mention the four P's of the marketing mix. Okay. Uh, place. Place. Price. 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 Product. Product. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Very good, Marks. Mm. I think promotion. And promotion. Yes. Very good. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Excellent. All right. So you pay the $200 that you owe me and you get $100. Ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes, Maurice. Tony, okay. Lemon, how much money would you like to make? $500 in a, in a structure. In a structure. Okay. $500 for $500. Tony, is this sentence correct or incorrect? I'd much rather make a phone call than send an email. It's incorrect. Yeah. Incorrect. Yes, it's incorrect. I to make a phone call that and email. Mm -hmm. Recall the topic that we cover. Recall the topic. Much rather. Mm -hmm. It's it's have it's take you no. Know, it makes sense, mm -hmm. but much rather, I will much rather, mm -hmm. ah, okay, yeah, um, because I think that this I like much, no, but I will much rather make sense, yes, it's correct, uh -huh. I it think that we have the club that, that don't have a, a little, uh, a phrase, but it's correct, I'll much, I will much rather, yes. Okay, so in this case, yes, it is correct, okay? It is correct. Oh, okay. so right now, you get 1,000 right there. All right. Okay. Let's play the last round. Okay. The last one. Uh, Carlos Omar, Onion, how much money would you like to make? Uh, $4,000. Oh, 4,000? <laughs> no, Carlos. We don't have 4,000. We have 400. <laughs> Okay, 400, 400. I own, I own, own 1,000 to you. <laughs> okay. So With a little no, interest. Yes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the, Carlos, 400. Vocabulary? Which, vocabulary, okay. Mm, okay. Carlos Omar, for. $400, can you mention three quantifiers that can be used with uncountable nouns? Uncountable nouns. Um, ya me quedé pobre. No me acuerdo. <laughs> Okay, Jonathan. Yes, Carlos. 
mention three quantifiers that can be used with uncountable nouns. Uncountable. Uncountable. I don't remember this. Okay. Do you want, Carlos Omar, choose somebody else. Choose someone else, but no Maurice, no Tony. Okay, choose somebody else. Tom. Choose somebody else. I mean, some someone else from the class. We have uh, George, Jose, Juan Jose, Carla Sofia, Mayra, Vladimir, Wendy. Emerson. <laughs> but Emerson, I think that he's just a listener. Oh my God, Emerson, he trusts uh, me. Uh, later. Carla Sofia. Okay, Carla Sofia. Okay, let's see. Carla Sofia, help Carlos. Hello. Hello. Okay, Carla What's Sofia. I mean, quantify it. <laughs> Carla <laughs> Sofia, my God. We covered that, guys, last week. Uh -huh. Well, my. Maybe answer. kilogram? No, no. 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 Uncountable. Mayra. Okay, Mayra, let's see. Hello. Mayra. <laughs> Okay, help them, Mayra. Quantifiers for uncountable, uncountable. I think that Mayra is not there. Okay, Carlos, in this case, Yes. No, you don't owe me, okay? Let me see. I'm going to, well, I'm going to give you the answer first, okay? So, the answer is going to be little or a little, plenty of, and much. Yes? So, you don't owe me, you just have zero in your account, okay? okay. Yes, Maurice. Okay, Maurice. Okay. Yes. Okay. Marketing. How 500 dollars marketing okay maris what is the market saturation explain to us what is market saturation uh, when i the <coughs> the place is saturation for a uh, Many products the same. Okay. The same many products. The same product. Okay. Yeah. When it is saturated. Saturated. Okay. okay. Let's see. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let's say that yes, it is correct. Okay. When we have um the saturation of a product, okay. Yeah. In yeah, that is like in simple words. Perfect. All okay. right. Very good. Okay. So your final account is six hundred dollars. And let's see, Tony Lemon. Okay, the last one, Tony. Mm, I need. Two hundred dollars of a structure. Okay, so two hundred. Yes. Okay, so let's see. Two hundred dollars for a structure, Tony. What is the difference between there, there, and there? There. Okay. The first. There one. is a place. Excellent. There is for uh, an object is belongs to an uh, other person Excellent. and they are there is the contraction of they are that means that a uh, few people few person uh, are something uh, it's doing something or going to doing something excellent okay yes it's what you actually mentioned Okay, very good. All right, guys. So in this case, just because of time, we are going to stop right here. The winner is going to be Lemon. Okay, Tony. Yes, okay, Mr. Lemon. All right. So we were playing Jeopardy, guys. Uh, probably the ones that join us late. Yeah, we're not here, but we were playing this. All right. 
So now let's uh, move and let's work on the class that we have for today. So as I mentioned at the very beginning, today we are going to develop a uh, unit two. We are going to still talk about marketing and we are going to start by talking about marketing vocabulary. Yes, what we need to do is that, as you can see, we have a couple of words in pink. So we need to choose which one completes each sentence, yeah? So we have number one. If a country's economy is less successful, there is an economic, what do you think? Downturn, encouraging, essential, false economy, luxury, prospect, reassure, or sustainable? Uh -huh. What do you think? No? Okay. Maybe we don't know the word, right? Probably. Right. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we know number two, okay? Let's do if, uh, let's see if we have number two. If something is a space, it makes you feel more confident. Yeah. Sustainable. Sustainable, um, not exactly. No, not exactly. Okay, number three. If you space somebody, you make them feel less worried about a situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, reassure. Excellent. If you reassure somebody, yes, okay, reassure. Let me, yes, number three is going to be reassure, okay? And what is the meaning of reassure? It's uh, something that brings to you security or something that complains you in when you have a, a bad situation? Yes. So reassure means calmar, to calm down. Yes? Tranquilizar. If you reassure somebody, you make them feel less worried about a situation. Yes. Okay. What about number four? If you buy a cheap car, you save money at first, but in the long term, a largo plazo, but in the long term, you could waste money because of frequent repair costs. It can be a false economy. False economy. Excellent. Thank you. All right. It will be false economy. Yes, that is correct. False economy, guys, is like saying un ahorro false. Yes. All right. Uh, number five. Teacher, yes. um, the number one maybe is downturn. Excellent. It is downturn. Yes. Uh, a downturn, it means una recesión, right? Una caída. Un downturn es una recesión, guys. O una caída. Yes, but but a follow a, a fall in economy terms. Excellent. Yes, mm -hmm. in economy terms, correct. And number five, if a business space is it is able to continue over a long period of time. If a business is a space, it is able to continue over a long period of time. Number five. Sustainable. Sustainable. Excellent. Okay. Sustainable. Very good. Yes. Okay. Sus 
obtainable. Yes, perfect. Number six, guys. If something is a space, it is very important and necessary. Essential. Essential. Perfect. Okay. Yes. Number seven. A space is a potential customer. Mm -hmm. Prospect. Uh -huh. Number seven, it is prospect. Excellent. Okay. Prospect. Very good. Number seven. Okay. A prospect is a potential customer. A, a number eight, something expensive that gives you pleasure but is not necessary is a luxury. Yes, it is luxury. Yes, which is lujo. Luxury. So then number two will be encouraging. Encouraging. Yes. And what is encouraging? Encouraging means favorable or alentador. If something is encouraging, it makes you feel more confident. Mm -hmm. Okay. Remember, downturn, recesión o caída en la economía, un downturn encouraging, favorable, or alentador, essential, esencial, false economy, es como decir un ahorro falso. Yes? Luxury, lujo. Yes? Prospect, una posibilidad. Yes? Posible. Reassure, calm down, tranquilizar, calmar. Sustainable, Sostenible. Yes. Okay. Let's move. Right. And now let's talk about marketing collocations. We need to, uh, well, we need to look for the, the one that complements uh, from one to six, from A to letter F. All right. So we need to match them. So let's see. Number one. What do you think? is the one for target. What do you think? Mm -hmm. What about number two, potential? What is the collocation? Potential. Mm -hmm. Potential customers, maybe. Yes, potential customers. Those are collocations, okay? So in this case, collocations are noun phrases that are often used in marketing and they always go together. They always go to together. Two words that always... Ah, okay, okay, okay. I understand. And then the first one is target market. Excellent, target market. Number three. Target, uh, perdón, advertising campaign. Excellent. Advertising campaign. Very good, Mayra. Number four, brand. Hmm. Competition. Mm. But what about market? Brand or what about awareness. cost? Uh -huh. Maybe it's brand awareness. Okay, brand awareness. Yes, that one is the collocation. Brand awareness. The five is market share. Market share, and then. Tough competition. Tough competition. Okay. 
So a collocation, guys, is a combination of two words that most of the time they go together. For example, in this case, the first one is going to be target market. And what is the meaning of target market? The target market is going to be the customers, right? The ones that you are going to sell to, el mercado meta. La meta. ¿A quién va dirigido? All of your advertising. All of your sales. Your target market. Potential customers. I think that that one is very understandable, right? Es un cliente potencial. Yeah. The advertising campaign. It is also very understandable. Advertising Campaign means campaña publicitaria. Advertising campaign. Uh -huh. What about number four? Brand awareness. Brand awareness is going to be el conocimiento de una marca. El conocimiento de una marca. Brand awareness. We need to create Brand awareness. El conocimiento de una marca. Cuando está, when you are launching a product, so you need to create the brand awareness. So people know about your brand, about the product, etc. Yes. Then we also have the market share. The market share means the sales, right? Son como las ventas. Yes, que tiene. The tough competition. Podemos interpretarlo como una competencia ardua. Difícil. Tough competition. Ok, una competencia dura. Between companies, sometimes there is tough competition. Uh -huh. Tough. De arduo, duro. Tough. Yes. Okay, very good. Let's continue. Okay, let's continue. And now let's talk about something very important, which is key components of product strategy. Okay, so today we are going to cover product strategy components. And what are the product strategy components, Mayra? I mean, I agree. Yes. Okay. Product strategy component. Features, product position, after sale service, mm -hmm. brand, product design. Yes. Thank you. All right. So um, within the product, the product strategy, we have different components. In this case, we are going to cover five. Yeah, are the ones that you can see right there. Features, product positioning, after sell services, brand and product design. Let's take a look at each one and let's check the definition. Okay, so what do you think is product design? What is product design? If not, let's move number two. What is after sales services? Mm -hmm. Or what is brand? What is the meaning of features? What is the meaning of product positioning? Let's see, do you have any idea? I see. Maybe, so. Okay, so, Carmen. Maybe you. the number three is the use of an A, their symbol or design to be the product. Excellent. This one is number three, perfect. Which is brand. The brand is the use of a name, term, symbol, or design to give a product a unique, 
identity in the marketplace. Perfect. Thank you, Carla. Someone else? After sales services. Mm -hmm. Number two. The help and information that is provided to customers after they have bought a particular product. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Juan Jose. That one is going to be number two. After sales services. What about number three, which is brand? What is the brand? Ah, well, no, we already have. What about features? Number four. Hmm? Characteristic of a product that describe its appearance, components, and compatibilities. Oh, cap capabilities? I'm oh, sorry, capabilities. And characteristics, okay? Characteristics. Thank you, Jose. What about product positioning and product design, which are the, the ones that are missing? So number one and number five. What is product positioning, number five? The number, well, the, the, the first uh, sentence, the process of uh, creating an image of a product in the minds of the customers. Yes, consumers, right? Excellent. Uh, consumers, excuse me. Yes, don't worry. And then, <coughs> well, one is going to be this one, right? Yes, product design. Okay, guys. This is very the, the number five product position is the, the similar meaning that top of mind. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's similar. Yes. Okay. Very good. So you see, and those are basically the five uh, components of a product uh, strategy the product design, the after sale services, the brand, features, and product position. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, very good. Let's move, right? Let's move and let's move to the following. Why is pricing important? Why do you think, guys, and this is a question for you, okay? Why do you think pricing is important whenever you are um, launching or creating or selling a new product? Why is pricing important? Uh -huh. In your own words. You as a customer, why do you think uh, pricing is important? Mm, because I make a better decision or make a choose with different offers if you have a um a limited wallet okay or budget budget okay and tony help us reading everything okay pricing is a critical component of any business strategy and plays a significant role in the success and profit profitability of a product or service here are some reasons why pricing is important. Yes. Revenue generation, profitability, competitive advantage, perception of value, demand and sales volume, mm -hmm. market positioning, and product life cycle management. Yes, okay. So in this case, it sells, all right? Sells. Oh, okay, demand sells. Excellent. Okay, guys. Well, those are some reasons why pricing is important for a business, right? For a business. Revenue generation, profitability, competitive advantage, perception of value, of course, right? Demand and sales volume, 
market positioning, yes, and what we have been covering, product life cycle management. Okay, very good. Now let's move and let's talk about what should you consider when setting the price of a product? What are the things that you as a business should consider, should take into account when you are setting the price of a product? Help us reading this information, eh, Mayra. Okay. Mm. Cost of production, mm -hmm. target market, competitor pricing, value, pro value proposition, positioning strategy, pricing objectives, demand elasticity, channel and distribution cost, market condition, pricing tactics. Tactics, all right. Uh, Maya, value. 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 Okay, thank you. Yes, so guys, those are some of the things, right, that we should take into account as a business when we are setting the price of a product. Yeah, the cost of production, the target market, the competitor pricing, the value proposition, the positioning strategy, the pricing objectives, demand elasticity, channel and distribution costs, the market conditions, and the pricing tactics. And there are many things that we need to take into account, right? So let's move and let's work on the book right now, right? So we already um, introduced the topic, which is about the uh, four components, well, five components, yes, of the product and price strategies. And we have a short conversation. I need two volunteers. One is going to be Anthony and the other one is going to be Rene. Okay, who wants to be Anthony? Me, sure. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Uh, okay, Mayra, you are Anthony, and Carla, you are Renee. Okay. Okay. The competition just released a clone of our headphones. Yes. They are attractive enough to make you lose position in the market. What we what do we do? Uh, we could renew. The look of our headphones, let's make the colorful enough so that people can recognize them easily. We can also try with a uh, advertising company. Okay. Yes. Renewing the look and package, packaging, packaging, packaging will take packaging will take months and advertising campaign is too expensive. Mm -hmm. mm, the best the best thing we, we can do is to change our pricing and strategy. It's fast enough to help us counter our competitors. Competitors? Competitors? <laughs> competitors? release of their products. Mm -hmm. Very good, thank you, okay. All right, so they are talking about modifying the product and price strategy for the, the uh, headphones, right? So as you can see right now, right here, we have some um, different adjectives and a word right there, highlighted in bold, yeah? And that is going to be the grammar part that we are going to cover today. Okay, but first, let me ask you, it says, look at the conversation and complete the sentences below. They are attractive enough okay, now no. to make us, all right, to make us lose ground in the market. Number two, let's make them colorful enough so that people can recognize them easily. 
And the last one, it's a space to help us counter our competitors' release of their product. Oh. Fast oh. enough. Thank you. Uh -huh. Okay, guys. And this is basically the grammar part that we are going to cover. How do we call this type of um, adjective in word, for example, right? So we call them intensifiers. Yes. And basically, we use enough to modify adjectives. Yeah. Hey, Carla, help us reading all of this. How to use a no, a no to modify adjective. Uh -huh. uh, look up the example in the box that complete the exercise below. And a no is as an adverb means to the necessary degree. Uh, it now follows the adjective of it modifies. It can be used both in positive and negative sense. Uh, the look of your online course from page is not professional enough. Uh, the package is user friendly enough. Is enough or enough? Enough. 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 Okay. Their product design is not competitive enough for a high end market. Mm -hmm. And our after sales service are good enough to improve the positioning of our products. Okay, thank you. Very good, Carla. So, okay, enough as an adverb. Enough is an adverb. And this means the necessary degree, the necessary amount. Yes? And it says that enough follows the adjective it modifies. So that means that we should use the adjective and then enough. Look at that. The look of your online course front page is not professional enough. We cannot say the look of your online course front page is not enough professional. It should be professional enough because of the structure. The Teacher, package is user-friendly uh, enough. Tell me, yes. Um, I'm confused with this word. Enough yeah. for me means that como basta o suficiente. Yes. But in this case, is like a complement. And then the means change or maintains that the the meaning that i explained yes it keeps the meaning that you actually explained is the same and but in the in the first sentence the look of the of your online code from page is not professional and others um, como la vista de tu curso en línea from page Del, de la página del frente de tu curso en línea, no está suficiente, no es profesionalmente suficiente, sería así. Mm, yes, o podemos decir, no es lo suficientemente profesional. Ah, ya, yeah, ok, suficiente, yeah. sí. No es lo suficiente lo... profesional. Suficientemente profesional, ok, ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. Um, the package is user friendly enough. Uh -huh. So the package, el empaque, right, is user friendly enough. Carla, what is user friendly? User friendly? Mm, I think it's a. Uh... Amateur. User friendly, maybe easy for you. <laughs> easy to use. Yes, easy to use. Uh -huh. easy, easy to use. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Easy to use. Yes. But since we are talking about a package, como estamos hablando de un paquete, 
could be right. Es como decir, es lo suficientemente profesional. No, es lo suficientemente Así. amigable. ¿Verdad? Para maybe el usuario. Good, maybe. Or attractive for a user. Ok. All right. Very good. Well, ok. Let's move and I'm going to explain this topic uh, better, ok? So let's see, guys. Okay, so we have the grammar part and we have when using enough to modify adjectives, it emphasizes that there is a sufficient, that the quantity is enough, is sufficient, or it could be insufficient, okay? Or appropriate amount of a quality or a characteristic. Yes, look at this. The car is cheap enough for us to buy. Yes, the car is cheap enough for us to buy. Um, so this means that the car is affordable and we can buy it. Yeah. So it's the same thing. You can say, you know, the car is affordable and we can buy it. Or you can say the car is cheap enough for us to buy. The same idea, different structures. Yeah. Number two, it was easy enough for them to complete. It was easy enough, right? Estaba lo suficientemente fácil para que ellos lo pudieran eh, completar o para que ellos lo completaran. For them to complete para que ellos lo completaran. That means that it was not difficult, right? It was easy. You don't eat healthy enough. Tú no comes lo suficientemente saludable. You are going to get sick because you don't eat healthy enough. She is old enough to vote. That means that she is in the right age to vote. She is old enough to vote. O suficientemente viejo. Pensé que era como más adulto. Ajá, suficientemente adulto. Okay. Uh -huh. To be, friend, to, be, to be friendly with the world. <laughs> yes, to, to be friendly with the world. Yes, okay. Um, all right. You see, we have the adjective, and this is very important. You have adjective enough, adjective enough. Never enough adjective, no. Always adjective enough. For example, if you want to say, um, nosotros somos lo suficientemente fuertes para realizar el trabajo. Nosotros somos lo suficiente eh, fuertes para realizar el trabajo. How can you say that? We are... We are strong. Is yeah, we are strong. And strong enough. 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 Yes. Enough. We are strong enough to, to do the work. To do, to do, do work. Okay, to do the work, to do the job. Yes. Uh, Ok, um, él es lo suficiente inteligente para pasar el examen. Mm 
Yes. He is. Uh -huh. Not intelligent. Smart, smart enough. Smart enough. Smart enough. To pass the exam. Yes, cuando usted o algo, un adjetivo es lo suficiente. Esa es la palabra. Enough, eso significa suficiente o suficientemente. Depende cómo usted lo interprete. Smart. Yeah. So, uh, basically, whenever you are using adjectives, the adjective goes first. That is part of the grammar, right? So, the adjective cannot be after enough. It should be before enough. Never after. Always before. Teacher, to, to understand better the grammar or the mm -hmm. correct order of this, uh, at this uh, modified uh, modifier adjective, mm -hmm. you will think that um, you need to mention first the adjective and then the the quality that be more stronger or be more specifically to talk about something else uh, because the first is the adjective and then the 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 modifier the modifier mm -hmm. is, is correct the, the... Um, we can say yes the modifier or you can say intensifier oh, okay the intensifier mm -hmm. uh -huh. yes give me an example Tony create an example Um, I'm, um, strong enough to get up the sweet case of 100 pounds. Okay. Maybe. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Um, whenever you want to also give a characteristic to a cell phone, right? And you say, es lo suficientemente bueno. This cell phone is at good enough. Good enough. Uh, to use, uh, to use friendly or to, with the best characteristics of the best, um, Features. Specs, features. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes, so good enough, right? Suficientemente bueno. Whatever adjective you want to add, right? I remember a, a song of Cher, Strong Enough. Mm -hmm. That talked okay. about of this. Correct. Issues. Strong this, Enough. This, this topic. Mm -hmm. This topic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yes. Okay. So you see, I mean, it's just a matter of you, uh, like having the idea, obviously in our language, right? Which is Spanish, right? And then we can interpret the idea in English. Yes. So, um, do you have any question, guys? Somebody else, probably any doubt, something that is not clear about this topic? No. Okay, so now let me then take the attendance. Uh, say present, please. Atilio Ernesto Castillo. <coughs> present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Omar Linares Cañas. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Diaz. Present teacher. Thank you. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present teacher. Thank you. Emerson Ulysses Monroy Cali. Well, I know that Emerson is there. Fatima Gabriela Loza Castillo. Present teacher. Thank you, Fatima. Jonathan Jose Gonzalez Dominguez. George Antonio Sanchez Quiñones. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Bernardo Lopez Montes. Present. Thank you. Juan Antonio Elias Flores. Present teacher. Yeah, thank you. 
Juan José Herrera Alvarenga. Present teacher. Yes, thank you. Carla Sofía Argueta Chévez. Present. Thank you. Kenia Elizabeth Rodríguez Zelaya. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Luis Miguel Corbera Enríquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Ma Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Mayra Cecilia Peña de Aparicio. Present. Thank you. Nelly Lilibeth Andrade García. Present. Thank you. Raúl Antonio Jordán Miranda. Raúl Antonio. Sandra Abigail Bonilla Cano. Sandra Abigail. Wendy Marisela Ramírez Guevara. Good evening, teacher. Present. Good evening, Wendy. Thank you. Okay. Let's move, guys. All right. Okay. So now let's move and let's take a look at this one. All right. Which is two. We already covered enough. Now let's talk about two. Yeah. So two means more than necessary. And enough indicates the right amount of something. So enough is something positive because it indicates the right amount of something. Two is something that is considered negative. Why? Because it indicates that is more than necessary. Okay. Hmm. So that means the following. And we also have the same structure. Well, kind of, right? Why? Because we have two first and then we have the adjective. Now is the other way around. How do you say al revés? The other way around. Okay. So the other way around. And look at this. This restaurant is, the contraction of is, this restaurant is too crowded. Let's go somewhere else. This is negative. When you say too crowded, negative. This coffee is too hot. I cannot drink. These bananas are too ripe. What is the meaning of ripe? Too ripe. Too ripe. Maduro. Muy maduras. Yeah. So two plus the adjective, it means more than necessary and it is something negative. Okay. Um, and you use two plus the adjective in a negative context, too crowded, too hot, too ripe, uh, too cold. But always is negative, teacher? Yes, it is always negative. You know, that's why if you say, for example, it is always negative, two is always negative. When we, when we talk about uh, the degree, the quantity, yeah? Because I That's never why, say too happy. Uh -huh. I'm very happy. I'm very happy because, uh -huh. yeah, because if we teach I'm too happy, that is something negative. Uh -huh. okay. For example, I'm too happy. I know that something bad is going to happen. Right? That is something negative. For the people that are needed, right? Uh -huh. I'm too happy, so that means that it's going to uh, that something bad is going to happen. People say that. Maybe when you use sarcasm. Uh huh. Yeah. So, um, can I say it's too late to go to the party? Yes, and that is something negative because it's too late. So that means that you cannot make it.
That's why whenever you say, I love you so much, and no, I love you too much, right? If you say, I love you too much, well, like, that is something negative. You feel that that is something negative, right? It, it is more than, than uh, what you want to feel, right? Mm -hmm. So two plus the adjective is always something negative, not positive. Mm -hmm. Questions or doubts? Not right now? Okay, so now let's take the grammar quiz that is related to to and enough. Yeah, let's take the grammar part. Let me see, where is it? Pay attention, okay? pay attention to all the context. There you go. And the passcode is grammar in capital letters. Grammar in capital letters. Pay attention to the context. Yeah, pay attention to the context, okay? The context. Okay, let's um, Let me give seven minutes, okay?
Okay, so I got Carlos Omar, Eduardo Franco, Jonathan, George, Jose, Vladimir. I'm still waiting for some of you guys, okay? Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay. Um, do you have any question? I can see that some of you got 100, okay? I can see that some others got a really low score. So do you have any question? I have a question. Yes, now um, if um if about if it's about the the last topic um about two. Ah oh, yes. About used to. And um you, you say that if uh we can use in negative form. Mm -hmm. But um, when somebody say that, um, nice to meet you, and we we say nice to meet you too, or I'm happy to, or something like that. Okay. Yes. Um, the thing is that um, two, in this case, um, as we mentioned before, it's being used with an adjective, right? And when we say, it is nice to meet you too. It is not an adjective. I mean, it, 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 we don't have any other adjective after two. So the two goes at the end and that is an expression. So that one is going to be correct because we don't give any extra information about something else. I mean, it's nice to meet you too. Okay. Yeah. So this that one, huh? And um, the example that Tony say that I'm too happy, it's the negative form, but I'm happy too, it is the positive. Yes, okay. the thing is that too, it, okay, so too means también. I am happy too. Yo soy feliz también. Okay. Uh -huh. Whenever we have two at the end, it is también. Nice to meet you too. Un gusto también. I am happy too. Eh, yo también estoy feliz, right? Uh -huh. So in that case, too is just también. It's not an adverb. Uh -huh. 
this topic is really different because as you can see right here, we have two plus the entity. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay. Very good. All right, guys. So now, any other doubt? No? Okay, let's move. And now it's your turn. So what we need to do is the following. We are going to describe, all right, the mobile brands below using an additive plus enough. Or we can use two plus an additive. If you want to express something not a positive, right? So you can use two plus the adjective. But if you want to give just positive characteristics about those brands, use the adjective and enough. At least I need a two sentences per each two. So that means that you are going to create eight sentences, all right? Yes. Do you have questions about the activity? No? Okay, perfect. So let's move, right? Let me create the breakout rooms and there you go. Only enough, not two. Yes, you can use two if you want. Yeah. Okay. Positive or negative things. It is your choice. Okay, guys. So let's work on the on the on the activity. Let me bring. I think that I'm going to bring Maida. Yes, yeah, so she can work with you. And I'm going to move. Morris. Okay, so we have Nelly, Atilio, George, and Maida. Okay. If you have questions, let me know, guys. Okay. Don Maurice. Oh, hello. Hello. Nice to hear you. Okay. Hey. Me too. Nice to see you too. <laughs> okay, very good, Maurice. Okay. Yes, sir. To answer, right? To answer. No. For, 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 uh, no. for a, 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 LG, Sony, iPhone, Samsung. Uh, okay, yes. It's, um, two of each one. Dos de cada una. Sí. Yes. Okay. Hey, Jim. Hey, Jim. Hey, Jim. Hey, Jim. Hey, Jim. Hey, Jim. Hey, Okay. You need two sentences describing the different brands. LG, Xperia by Sony, uh, iPhone, and Samsung. Uh, what kind of product 
would you like to talk about or to write about LG? Maybe cell phones? Um, it, right now, it doesn't exist. Mm. And because the cellular phones I have LG. <laughs> was, was, fue comprada, was by, no, esa es vendida, by Free. purchaser. ¿Cómo se dice compra? By acquired by another brand, like, like, um, Alcatel. But LG is, is a good um, electronic brand in another um, kind of, of product. Maybe uh, refrigerator, refrigerators, TVs, um, washing machines, dryer machines, and air conditioners, and uh, include to uh, cellular, no, solar solar panels and uh, what kind of product would you like to talk with lg i see mobile mobile okay. mobile describe the mobiles okay okay i had a ig oh. about 10 years ago <laughs> It was very good, and the last one that we have in the market, uh, it was a proof of of a future, uh, a proof of um, um, smashes and waterproof too, with a great military in the in the screen and on the scratchable. The it was a. Uh, a very good element, a very which my God. Eh, voy a esa pero como para decir que es duradera es dura es 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 ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué Um, I, I have one, one examples. Um, I send in the shot. Oli is a famous and at home appliance brand, but too popular in cell phones. Um, I don't know if if we say too popular, um, we have to we have to add not too popular or it's okay too popular, but not too 
but not okay. too popular. Okay. Mm -hmm. eh, duradero, Mayra, it is long lasting enough. Long lasting. Long lasting. Okay. Uh -huh. Correct. Atilio said at LG we are inspired by you to design cell phones that adapt to both types. Mm -hmm. And now Ahora con Sony Xperia. Era aha y flip flip pan en su smartphone de maybe the last generation. <laughs> Uh, okay, they are uh, this type of phones is named um, no dummy phones, sino que, que non smart, pero pero como se dice que no son inteligentes, pero no son tontos. ¿no? Bueno, podría ser. <laughs> are manuals manuals or Borders. En, en los bordes, en el teclado, este es el keyboard, keyboard and buttons. Ok, the LG cellular phone was very popular because they were nice enough and attractive. Include the lights, LED lights, LED lights in the borders, keyboard and buttons. Ok. Very well. We need the second one with Sony Xperia. Sony Xperia, yeah. what? I have a Sony Xperia. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. You are a good, uh, a good customer of the cell phone. It, okay. It's a good yeah. cell phone. Okay. In Sony Xperia, yeah, the products are made with uh, uh, enough durable quality, quality enough durable are made oh, high made. quality made 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 Pero es en pasado. Mm -hmm. Past participle. Okay. The Sony Square Art made, uh -huh. following your, with, your, your idea. Uh -huh. With the quality uh, okay. enough. With quality enough. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. With, quali with a quality enough or with quality enough? 
with the a quality or without a. with quality and not quality okay consistentemente calidad es que no sé si está la, la idea eh, que calidad pero la calidad es un es un adjetivo o es un noun in this case we need to use like an adjective nah. maybe high quality uh, no an, uh, but but the, the maybe the the word is not correct in in this case uh, when you are talking about quality and in in an like an adjective like uh, as an adjective uh -huh. the, the quality describe the product um, oh no oh no high quality no <laughs> uh -huh. um You can say the Sony Xperia, the Sony Xperia cell phones <laughs> are made with um, high quality with mm -hmm. enough quality. With enough quality. Uh -huh. Okay. Because quality is a noun. No. Okay. Uh -huh. Entonces, enough ya no sigue la regla del adjetivo ahí. Yeah. Okay. With high quality that los, uh -huh, los celulares uh -huh. son Xperia eran hechos con alta calidad. That was as was a synonym 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 sign uh -huh. chifa synonym synonym uh -huh. <laughs> que era un sinónimo de eh, ahí donde quería utilizar el 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 el, el eno, pero con qué otra palabra la un um, durable. Durable enough. Maybe no. The Sony Xperia is 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 noted. No, now now that was now like a very high quality in sound and cameras. This is the the best yeah. the best characteristic or aspect that describe the 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 cell phone. And with high with high quality in their components, their their components. Sí, yo sé que quieren ver el partido, pero <ríe> no. Se fueron hechos con alta calidad que en sus componentes in their camera camera um no sé si eran speakers pero qué tienen que haber sido speakers sound. sorry sound. Ah, and sound yes exactly and sound in their camera and some component that was a synonym of um, sorry? Um, es que no hay como unirla con la idea. Um, a ver, ayúdenme. Yes, some experience cell phones were made with high quality cell phones. Uh, were made. Uh, mm. were, were maybe it's better manufactured. 
Yes, with high quality. With camera. With high quality. Quality. Poner ahí. The song company. Camera. Is better. Camera and some. Envolvente. That. Um, no que era un sinónimo, sino es, que era un estatus. Igual sí. Y sinónimo a teatro en casa. <ríe> sí, me parece, me parece muy buena la aseveración, sí, pero como la unimos ahorita con el, el uso de eh, no. Uh, um, the mm -hmm. Premium, no. Entonces aquí te componen. Eran lo suficientemente buenos. No sé si voy a decir lo mismo que la de arriba. Eran lo suficientemente buenos para durar por muchos años. They, they were. Good. And now, and now, eran lo suficientemente buenos. Um, uh -huh. ¿Qué adjetivo le ponemos? Uh -huh. Sorry. Durability, algo así. It has, it has a durability. Durability. They were good enough. Eran lo suficientemente ah, bueno. bueno. Suficiente bueno. Que tenemos durabilidad. Um, maybe to last for many years. Uh -huh. Maybe. I, I don't know. Uh -huh. Or depende si no se caía para <ríe> totalmente de acuerdo <ríe> se está ahí llegaba <ríe> ok um, to last for many years or um, para durar por muchos años y, no, siempre y cuando no se caigan y guardar muchas memorias en su foto o una cosa así se puede poner o oh, hasta ahí hasta ahí puede hasta ir. ahí creo ok ya demasiadas neuronas quemamos ok ok uh, the next one the iPhones ok iPhone. what do you think about the the Apple brand the battery no no <laughs> Okay. But I seen the cam is good. The cam? The cam is, is good and, and fast. The cam? Yeah. What is the cam? The camera? Uh-huh. The camera. Uh, the camera. Yes. They have a bit, the best performance, a good processor, and high quality in the photography I, of, of but, the, the camera. I, but it's so but, expensive and the battery is... Uh, is resolution, uh, resolution short, high. Short resolution high or oh, high resolution. High resolution. Uh, high resolution. The battery is with the, the short time of life. Expensive and... Uh -huh. uh, it's very expensive. Uh, and you need ever more space or, or more gigabytes for for um, um, save your memories or, or your documents or your apps. And, 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 and if you need more memory, you don't get it, you don't get you don't have or you don't no le puedes poner you don't you don't get 
put in uh, is the car. And I... <laughs> <laughs> Our rich people use iPhone. <laughs> Only three percent. <laughs> Complicate you. Okay, Nelly, guys. No, no, don't don't take it personally, Nelly. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Nelly is a um, uh, la embajadora. The <laughs> 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 iPhone. Okay. Yes. Yes. It is, it is, a, it has a high quality, okay? But it is too expensive. It has a high quality. Mm -hmm. Too expensive, yes. Nelly, another, <laughs> another, another description. Mm -hmm. Okay. But the price is relative because I I bought a um a sunset not night and that time it costs uh the same the same price price but iPhone. Yeah, so yeah. I think that uh, when they <laughs> launch in the market. The price is the same in, in different models. I know that in Android have um, different phones. Uh, maybe I have I have, a, I have <laughs> a good example. Cheaper than iPhone. Why? What? After <laughs> talking about iPhone, nearly haters enough. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> This price uh, the price is relative uh, maybe mm. Mm. Okay, the price is relative because the quality is good enough. <laughs> it's good. It's good. It's good enough. Yes. It's not complicated. <laughs> and number eight, Nelly, the price is relative because the T H E. Uh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Samsung, the best mark because it's Korean. <laughs> Chinese. Hello. Okay, guys, two minutes. Okay, Samsung. The Vlad number one in the world. <laughs> Nelly, <laughs> sorry. Again, a video, como dijo. The rank on number one in the world. Why? <laughs> it be oh. 
Maybe because because it's youth friendly. Mm -hmm. Maybe because they have market enough. I don't know if is it correct to say. Because they are they they have they have market enough. Mm. Is, is it okay? No. No, it is not okay because the market is not an adjective. Mm -hmm. So you can say because they have enough market. Because market is a noun. So the structure that we have is adjective plus enough. But enough in that case, is, is the, the, the sentence correct? Uh, by saying uh, they have enough no. market, yes. 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 Mm -hmm. We have enough paper, we have enough pencils, we have enough food, we have enough uh, shampoo, etc. Yes. But you you notice that those are nouns, those are not adjectives. Hmm? Okay, let me know if you are ready. Yes, I think. Okay, we are ready. You're ready? Okay. So you decide who is the one that is going to present yeah, your, your topic and your presentation. And then let's go to the main room. Okay, let me call you back. Okay. The microphone is. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So Nelly's team goes first. Thank you, Carla. All right, Nelly's team. Okay. Maida. Okay, Maida. Okay. First, um, first, first mark. LG. My dad used enough a refrigerator for the fissure. It's very long lasting. Well, we can say LG is a famous enough home appliance brand, but not too popular in cell phones. At LG, we are inspired by you to design cell phones that adapt to your style and way of life and now with one in your life. Yeah, about Sun Xperia. Sun Xperia wasn't innovative enough to survive changes over time. 
it was popular enough in 2008. Mm -hmm. And also it was one of the top brands in the USA, but it wasn't enough to stay in the phone market. Okay, um, I'm gonna talk to you about iPhone brand and it has a high quality but is too expensive but the price is relative because the quality is good enough mm -hmm. and only three percent of people use it because it's too complicated my to god <laughs> mm -hmm. Hello, everybody <laughs> okay <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, the rats number one in the world because they have enough market. Mm -hmm. Samsung is a, a, a forward on enough brand because it's the different uh, cheaper models. Only teacher. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, it's okay. All right, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Samsung is a is an affordable. Okay, um, Samsung is an affordable brand or Samsung is affordable enough without brand. Uh, Samsung is affordable enough with that without N. Uh -huh. Because it has different, cheaper models. Okay. All right. Yes. Okay. But we are going to, well, it's okay right now. It's okay. All right. Thank you, Nelly. All right. Thank you. And Maida. Okay. And Jose and Atili. All right. Tony Steam. Carla, okay. yes. Morris, and, and Carlos Omar. And Carlos Omar. Okay. Um, I'm going to make an introduction. We talk about the different qualities, mm -hmm. specs, and, and other characteristics of the different brands. Um, casualty. Eh, ca por casualidad, no sé si estoy diciendo casual, no, casualty es otra cosa. Este, the, um, the LG is a, um, a Korean like Samsung, uh, it's a Korean brand. Sony mm -hmm. is a Japanese brand and iPhone is a gringo brand. And we talk, I'll talk a lot about this, um uh, products first please carla uh help me to talk about your cell phone to, with lg the lg cellular phone was very popular because they were nice you no know, uh, attractive include led lights in the borders cables and boards <laughs> Okay. This is too long time ago. Ago. Okay. Uh, about ten years. <laughs> uh, maybe more. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Carlos and Mark talked about please the Sony Xperia uh, products. They. <laughs> this is a yes. cell phones. Sony Xperia. The Sony Xperia cell phones were manufactured with high quality camera and sound components. They were good enough to last for many years. Uh -huh. Okay, then what's more in, in, in our team? Um, Maurice. Maurice, please talk about iPhone. Okay, iPhone. The brand iPhone. iPhone is a renowned brand. Renowned. Renowned brown in cell phone. Mm -hmm. 
we were the pioneer in the smartphone with touch screen. Mm -hmm. The brand is too expensive and the customer buy this phone as a sign of the status. Oh my God, really? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, something more is in our team. Something else? Some, someone else? Some, uh, someone else are in our team? No, uh, no I still don't know. Okay, uh, I'm going to talk about, I, I'm going to talk about the Samsung. Samsung mm -hmm. is the most known brand in South Korea. This mm -hmm. brand is recognized for its constant innovation. Prices are low enough for all customers. Mm -hmm. Samsung is the most known and at the end known no. known no. brand in South okay. Korea. Okay, too expensive, nice enough, too expensive, good enough, low enough. Okay, very good, guys. Okay, um, we need to improve just on the pronunciation of some words and basically ed endings. Okay, ed ending sounds, guys. We need to work on that. Tomorrow, we're going to make a review on the ED ending sounds again, okay? Do not forget about the rules. Do not forget about the rules, yeah? Guys, do you have any other question right now before we go? Something else? No? Okay, so let me see. George, are you here? Yes, teacher. Okay. George, can you please stay with me? Okay. All right, thank you. Then guys, uh, well, in this case, just because of the time, we are going to stop right here. I'll see you back tomorrow. Thank you very much for connecting today and I hope you have a good night. Okay, take care. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye-bye, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good take night. care, rest. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, take care, Jose, take care. Thank you. Bye, Mayra. Hola, Mayra. Thank you, Mayra. Bye, Mayra. Okay, George. Hi, teacher. Hi, George. How, how are you? How do you feel? Fine, teacher. Okay. Yeah. So tell me, George, Um, how have you felt during this week that we have uh, received classes? What about the topic? How have you felt with the topic? Have you understood most of the content? Is there any question that you may have? Well, um... In this level, in the last week, um, it was difficult mm -hmm. for me because um, I worked late. In our company, we was in, in, in inventory. Oh. And for three days, um, yeah, for three days, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I worked at uh, 10 p.m. Uh, well, Wednesday, I worked at 11.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. And it was, it, it was difficult because, but I tried to, to study and read the, um, the class. And not, it's not difficult for me. The, the last topic, the, the topic today is, uh, is a little difficult because I don't um is is difficult um separate or or try to understand when I have to use two and enough hmm. but today the the last topics um I I I try to understand in uh a little difficult, but be, because um, when I read some, um, uh, I I I understand. Okay, well, I'm going to explain to you when to use enough and two, so you can understand it better. Okay. Okay. So, uh, George, um, in English we have this type of intensifiers. They they give intensity to adjectives. Yeah. So there is a rule whenever we use adjective and enough. So in this case, as you can see, those examples, the ones that we have, 
all of them cheap, easy, healthy, and all, all of them are adjectives, yeah? So in this case, if we want to give this intensity to our idea to say, el carro es lo suficientemente barato para que lo compremos. Mm. Ese suficientemente es enough. Ok. ¿Sí? Entonces usted le da la intensidad a su pensamiento. Ok. Ajá. Entonces, claramente usted puede omitir enough. Pero como el propósito de saber un poquito más es que usted lo vaya incorporando a su speaking, el cual, George, quiero mencionarle que he visto que ha mejorado. Cuando Thank usted you. habla, escucho que habla de una manera más fluida y también la pronunciación la ha mejorado muchísimo. Entonces, George, básicamente esto es, es para que usted pueda expresar este tipo de ideas. Cuando usted quiera darle esa intensidad de esto es lo suficientemente fácil para realizarlo, esto es lo suficientemente eh, saludable para comerlo. Sí, por supuesto, usted puede omitir ese suficientemente, okay. pero eh, como queremos darle una intensidad, lo hacemos de esta manera. Uh, um, and then I, I, I use only when I um, try to... Um, uh -huh. When I when I try to speak or say uh, an adjective more specific, for example, um, is uh, is how I say a word or um, um I don't know how do you say it's como que yo quisiera darle más realce, digamos, a algo. Correcto. Ok. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, cuando, digamos, usted está con un compañero de trabajo y se le dice, y dándole ánimos, tú eres lo suficientemente capaz, tú eres lo suficientemente inteligente. Ok. Ok, so you are smart enough. Ok. You are intelligent enough. Sí, entonces la regla que estudiamos es que el adjetivo siempre va a ir al principio y después iría yes. enough. Ok. Now, with two, and this is for positive things. Eso es para cosas positivas. Sí. Ok. Ok. Ahora, if we want to talk about negative things, para realzar cosas negativas, para darle esta intensidad, de muy es tú. Entonces, pero el tú es al revés la estructura, porque primero va tú y después va el adjetivo. Y si se fija, dice, this restaurant is too crowded. ¿Y qué significa crowded? Lleno. Entonces, si usted dice, this restaurant is too crowded, está diciendo algo negativo. Este restaurante está demasiado lleno let's go somewhere else vámonos a otro lugar yes this coffee is too hot este café está muy caliente I cannot drink it no me lo puedo tomar yes ok These bananas are too ripe. Estas bananas están muy maduras. Se pasaron de maduras. Entonces, cuando utilizamos to plus adjective, siempre en la mayor parte de ocasiones va a ser en un contexto negativo, no positivo. Ok. Uh -huh. Too hot, too ripe, too crowded. Too loud, muy fuerte, too loud. Yes. Too expensive. Too expensive. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Uh, yes, so 
negativo, right? Algo que es algo negativo, ¿sí? Ok, teacher. Yes, ok. Yes. So basically that was the topic. Ese fue el tema que vimos el día de hoy. Yeah. And um, for the, the last class, um, uh, I, I, I try to, to, to understand and I, and I read a little, a little bit and I studied the, the class one by one and, and I understand it's not difficult. Um, yeah. Okay. And I try to learn and I try to, to, to speak with, with my partners is nah, level by level by level is more, is more difficult, but the, uh, our partners is, is, is very smart and, and speak uh, so much, but mm -hmm. I, I try to, to learn. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and I can see that you are improving, okay? So you are improving, está mejorando, and that is something good, okay? Yeah, okay. All right, perfect. Do you have any issues with the platform? No, teacher, right now, um, well, uh, today I I uh, made uh, some lesson, and tomorrow I try to, to work uh, with the other one, and 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 right now I I I can uh, work in the platform. Excellent. All yes. right. Okay. Perfect. Okay, George. So just saying that uh, you are doing great, right? So you are improving. I have noticed whenever you participate, you pronounce very good, right? So you do it very well, and I think that that is something um, that we need to mention that you are improving, right? And that is something good. Yeah. Okay. So participate even more, right? Participate and participate so you can improve more and more and more. Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. Perfect. Okay, George. So if you don't have any other question, we are going to stop right here and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Have a good night. Take care. Good night. Thank you. Okay.